As long as it is day, we must do the works of him who sent us. Night is coming when no one can work. John chapter 9 verses 4. Warmest well, welcome back again to the Lovista channel. Trust you're doing so well and you're taking very good care of yourself. In today's recipe, we are going to be making mafe or domoda. It is very popular among the Senegals and the Gambians. It is nothing but a thicker version of our Ghanaian peanut butter This soup. has so many potentials that is literally going to blow your mind. I am going to make this as Ghanaian as possible because I want all my Ghanaians out here to try this recipe because it is so good. Especially my Oboasianos who love their rice and soup. Please stay tuned and let's get right into this. So here are my list of ingredients. I will also go ahead and list each and every one down below in the description box. So for the choice of protein, I'm going with some chicken and lamb meat. I also have my peanut butter, a bit of vegetable seasoning, and lots of other vegetables that are not so popular when making your peanut butter soup, okay? As always, the list is going to be down below. So to begin with, I am going to go ahead and mix my peanut butter. It is nice and thick here. So I'm going to use some water to just dissolve it and make it lighter as much as possible because you're going to cook this until we get all that beautiful oil on top. One thing about this recipe is you do not need extra oil anywhere. This peanut butter is going to give us our natural peanut butter oil for this recipe. It is absolutely incredible. So I use 400 grams of peanut butter. I use the smooth one and to that I added two cups of water to just mix everything very nice and smooth as you see and I also went in with one cup of tomato puree just to give it that nice and rich color. Mix everything together and add about a handful of chopped yellow onions you can also decide to use red onions onions give it a nice flavor so we're going to cook this into a porridge form for about 30 minutes or until we realize that it's nice and thick and there is lots of oil settle on top it is a sign for you as soon as you get that that your peanut butter is ready it is very very vital to cook your peanut butter thoroughly especially when you're using it in much quantity like this just to avoid any tummy aches and tummy upsets okay so after cooking this for a whole 30 minutes i'm going to now set it aside and just go on with the base of my soup in the blender, I'm going to add one large yellow onion, a thumb size of ginger, three cloves of garlic, a tablespoon of dried pepper, a teaspoon of cloves, a tablespoon each of aniseed and rosemary. Add enough water and just blend everything together. All right. So once everything is nice and blended, I'm going in now with my meat or protein of choice which was the lamb and some chicken i use the soft chicken at this point i am going in with some chopped red onions and a bit of all pepper seasoning and then add all my blended ingredients this smells so so good i rinse the blender with a little bit of water and then add some salt i added a tablespoon of salt i'll stir everything gently together cover it and allow this to steam for a good 20 minutes on a low to medium heat it's going to release all that beautiful flavors that you need oh my goodness the aroma from this was incredibly amazing i hope you smell that too <laughs> so i'm going to make sure that nothing is stuck under the bottom of my pot and i'm going to add in another half cup of tomato puree for nice flavor and also beautiful color as well i'm going to stay gently together again cover it for just five minutes more and after that i'm going to take out my chicken i use the soft chicken and i do not want to overcook that at all this is going to go through another cooking process for about 40 minutes more so you just want to release that chicken just so that it does not overcook the perfect time for me to add my peanut butter and 
it is going to do its cooking and oh my goodness once everything comes together you definitely know why you should try this recipe it is so so good so stir everything together gently this look very nice and thick but we want to add a little bit of water to dissolve this a little bit we do not want it extremely thick so i went in with about two cups of water this is going to cook for another 40 minutes so surely it is going to thicken up a lot more so we just want to add a little bit of water just to easing it up a little bit and even with that i'm going to add in three fresh tomatoes one large yellow onion and one hot habanero pepper one carrot as well i am going to cook this together with the soup so once it's nice and softening i will just remove everything and blend it and add it back to the soup Oh, loving the aroma so far. It smells amazing and heavenly in here. So, so good. Please, if you're enjoying this recipe, make sure you give me a thumbs up. And if you love to share with somebody who you think should learn how to make this, please do so. I believe they're going to be thankful that you did. All right. So now that all the blended ingredients are in, you just want to give it a good, good stir and just allow this to boil for an extra 10 minutes. All right all these ingredients i blended in is also going to elevate the flavors and also serve as a thickening agent as well look how beautiful the soup is looking so so far all that you can think of is your regular Ghanaian peanut butter soup or groundnut soup but hold on as we add our cabbage and our bell peppers for that beautiful aroma and taste and some carrots as well oh my goodness this is what changed everything it changes everything from your regular peanut butter to your gambian style muffin it is incredibly tasty i also went in with my chicken at this point and gently and carefully stir everything together and i'm going to give this a good cooking time of 10 minutes more and my delicious muffin should be ready you were not expecting that did you you have to really try this family because it is going to take this whole groundnut soup or peanut butter soup to a whole different level just allow this to simmer after it has cooked for an extra 10 minutes and boy oh boy your delicious muffin or your thicker peanut butter soup is ready just look at that deliciousness it is so so good isn't it i definitely love to pair this with some white rice a little touch of beans of course of what's a girl <laughs> i don't joke with my rice and soup it is so so amazing and with the consistency like this if you want your emoto of course you can still dig in with that or your banco it is so so good this combo right here is just so good it's my favorite i can eat it every day throughout the whole year it is so so delicious you definitely have to try it for you to understand there is absolutely no limitation to this you can enjoy with uh, whatever that comes in mind definitely a uh, win-win you can also decide to pair this with your yum let me tell you it's flavor busting especially when you bite into that crunchy cabbage oh my goodness it is so so good let me know in the comment section what do you love to pair this type of soup with is it yum is it rice is it rice balls let me know in the comment section all right my favorite now is with yum honestly it is so so good yum and rice always always a win-win thanks so much for watching family i really really hope you enjoyed this recipe and you're going to give it a try please kindly give me a thumbs up if 
if you did enjoy this recipe and if this is your first time here hello my name is lovia from lovey starch my main goal here is to cheer you up into making your own delicious meal right at the comfort of your home i also love to share kitchen related motivational videos so please come on board and subscribe to join the family for amazing new recipes every week thank you so very much family for watching once again and as always know that you're so beautiful just the way you are i will see you in my next one have a blessed day